Hello there, welcome. Uh, this is going to be a set of quick video tutorials for how to set up a Jupyter Notebook uh, along with NBGrader to be able to set up assignments, uh, computational assignments for your class. So this is a getting started video. This is the kind of thing your students will have to do on uh, day one of class or whenever you start doing computational assignments and that's actually getting to the Jupyter Hub server. It's pretty easy. It's managed through VMware. So these are virtual servers running on uh, RIT uh, shared computing hardware. So uh, just vmware.rit.edu and you log into it with your regular NetID and password um, that you use for everything at RIT. And once you log in, what you'll see is a set of Jupyter Hub servers and along with a couple of other VMware things. Uh, you can bookmark some if you just know that some are higher priority. Um, but you can see there's a number of courses in here right now. Mine that I'm going to be using for these demos is actually setting up fresh Phys 225, Intro to Computational Physics and Programming. So you click the Open button and it takes you to the Jupyter Hub server. And what you see there looks a lot like uh, when you start up Jupyter Notebooks, if you've ever done a local installation of Anaconda Python, uh, you basically see the Files tab. Um, you can create a new uh, Python Notebook, so we could create a, a, a Python 3 Notebook, or actually we just, uh, thanks to Chris Butler's efforts, we just added our functionality. Um, so thank you, Chris, for doing that. And yeah, all the basic things you want to do uh, if it was a local install, most of those same packages for Anaconda are installed um, by default on the Jupyter Hub. So in this case, I'm going to use uh, NumPy, and I'll use matplotlib to get some plotting functions, and uh, the import ran. Uh, so all this, uh, so one nice thing about this is stuff runs really quickly. Uh, so regardless, even if a student has a low-powered older laptop, they have just as much access to high-powered computing resources as every other student in the class, so it's definitely a nice equalizer. Um, so then we can actually use the, um, we can use the, uh, the libraries we just imported. So just to make a really simple plot, and And there you have it. So within the browser, you get the inline plot, just like any Jupyter Notebook. Uh, and you can do a mix of coding and markdown. So there's an option to pick either a code cell or a markdown cell. Um, and within markdown cells, there's a kind of a simplified language, kind of like HTML formatting. Uh, so you can make headings, um, but you can also just do uh, text. So So you can actually just type in your exercises. You can actually use the Jupyter Notebook like the uh, homework assignment that, or the, the lab assignment that students would do in my case. Um, and lastly, you can do uh, LaTeX equations. So, so you can set up a simple LaTeX equation and shift enter is uh, how you get the the, uh, the the cell to run. So whether it's a code cell or a markdown cell, the way you compile it is shift enter. Um, and that's the same as a Jupyter Notebook. So really once you're in the server, the functionality is very similar to Jupyter Notebooks. Um, so, uh, so that's just kind of the quick intro. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to set up a class for the first time. Thanks.